Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Amiga Nostalgia. Today I want to talk about one of my all-time favorite games, uh, which I used to own as a pirated copy, but last year I bought the original. And I'm talking about Wings by Cinemaware. Uh, Cinemaware uh, did a Kickstarter project for a remastered edition of Wings, and that Kickstarter pulled through. And I actually have a website uh, called cinemawarewings.com. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, where you can see how the project is coming about and from my understanding they already have a demo for the PC and for uh, Android so check that out uh, for my video we're gonna play the old wings and let's go over the box first so let's go over the box a bit I always love these uh, these old big boxes let's take a look at the back let's see if I can get a clear picture of this Join up as a rookie pilot and track your career through rank promotions and commendations. Fight your way through over 230 increasingly challenging missions. Experience the triumph and tragedy of an entire squadron from 1916 till 1918. And this is interesting. Read a computer generated diary of your wartime experiences. While you play this game you uh, keep seeing these uh, journal pages of uh, with with stories of your pilots and these stories all take place in the era of course and they really draw you into the game and into the story of the first world war which makes this game really interesting uh, this game has uh, three type of, uh, types of missions you have dogfight missions in which you shoot enemy planes and balloons there are strafing missions where you attack enemy convoys uh, these can be cars, trains, uh, all kinds of stuff and there are bombing missions in which you take down certain buildings or trains and uh, the likes. So, because this game has three different missions which which kind of come randomly at you, uh, it, it never gets really boring. And you get to follow the story, play different missions, which really makes this game fun. And in 2014 this game is still fun to pick up and play for five, six missions and then put it off again. So let's open the box and see what's inside, eh? Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Cinemaware. One of the great studios from that time. They also made It Came From The Desert, which I love. We'll probably do a video on that later. So what's in the box? When I bought this, it came with a with a CD, which I don't think is supposed to be in there. It says there is an Amiga fly through on there, so it's probably some kind of walkthrough. I'll check that later and maybe put it in a video. Should I? We have the game discs, of course, and a manual for the game. And there's this very cool book which has a bit of history on the First World War and has certain photos and maps. And it's a pretty cool uh, addition to add to a video game because this really told people something about the First World War. Pretty cool thing to add, I think. So, that's enough for now, that's, that's what's in the box, uh, let's go play this game. Wings, there we go. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna start at the beginning, I'm gonna continue the game from where I left off. Uh, the first mission normally is where you create your own pilot and uh, you have to do the first mission where you earn your wings so you can start the game. Uh, I'm gonna pick my uh, the pilot that I already created, and you can see here I am. I'm a captain. I already flew 34 missions and had uh, 35 kills. And let's hope we get three different types of missions so I can show you guys. Here's the flight journal I spoke about. Wow. 
With uh, each mission you get a bit of a story about what, uh, what was going on at the time. And I think that's a really cool thing. So we're gonna start off with a bombing uh, mission. We have to bomb the aerodrome. Let's go do that. So there's our mark. Let's go take it down. I hope you can see, but I'm carrying eight bombs, so I have to use them wisely. You can also hit these planes, even when they're... Oh, missed that one. Oh. But we hit our mark. So we got to get the hell out of here. And that was one level. So you can see these missions are pretty short, so it's it's fun to pick this game up and play a few missions and then uh, quit. Oh, I even earned a medal. That's pretty cool. Now if I remember correctly you can go to the main menu and I review a pilot. Current pilot. And here you can, can see all about my uh, stuff I, uh, I did. I am um, a captain, I did 24 uh, dogfights, which I succeeded in, uh, 4 bombing missions and 7 strafing missions. You can see the planes I shot down, and the balloons, and how, how my skills are, you can see that, and I already have 2 medals. I don't think you can see anything else here. So ok, let's see what kind of mission we're getting next. First we get a piece of the journal again, of course. Yes, we have a, a dogfight mission. Now even though this game is pretty old and the graphics are dated, especially in the mission you will see shortly, uh, I, I still love the game because it isn't, it isn't ugly. It's, it's aged pretty well, I think, and the controls with the arcade joystick are just great. It's, it's, it feels very arcade-like to play this, it's in no way a flight simulator, it just, it just works. You can see my uh, pilot looking at the sides, that tells you there's an enemy there. Oh, yeah, we got him. There's another one. Oh. The other pilot I'm doing this mission with, with uh, shot uh, the other one down. So, we cleared this mission. See? The other pilot that was also in this mission shot the other one down and I got one as well. So what's next? Another bombing mission, this time we have to hit a train. Now this game gets uh, harder as uh, the further you get. 
uh, it's not very hard at the moment. I'm only at 36 mission, I think. But uh, you can't actually die during these bombing missions. If you get taken down, you just the mission is a failure and you go to the next mission. You also can't die in the strafing missions. But you can die in the dogfight missions. If you get shot down there, it's, it's game over for that pilot. So you gotta remember to save often, especially after you had a uh, difficult dogfight mission. Well, we got the train. Let's see if we can get this car. Yeah, we did. Well, that's it for this mission. I hope we get a strafing mission next. You can see here there are secondary targets in this mission. Those were the supply trucks and we hit one of those. This is another dogfight mission. I'm gonna continue this video until we get a strafing mission. He flew right over me. Well, they got him. Whoa. Voila. <laughs> It seems like my uh, the other pilots in this mission already shut the enemy down, so no kills for me. So can we get a strafing mission now please? Yes, strafe the train, a strafing mission. As you can see, all these missions are pretty short, so every time I'm playing this, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'll do one more, one more, one more. Our prime objective is the train. So you have to watch out for these uh, anti-plane uh, turrets because those big ones will take your plane down with one shot if they hit you. So I gotta make sure I destroy those. You can already see my plane is riddled with bullet holes. Oh, big one. Let's dodge that one.
that was it. This game is, is, is especially most fun if you play it with an arcade joystick and not through emulation or whatever. This, this game feels exactly right when played with the right joystick. So uh, you gotta check that out. Well, I think this ends my video. Uh, check out the Kickstarter project. I'll put a, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Because I think it's really cool they're re remastering this game and I'm, I'm surely gonna buy it when it uh, gets out. And before I end this, let's have a quick look on uh, what was on that CD-ROM. I just uh, did a quick check on the on the CD-ROM and it had a uh, long play video on there that's also on YouTube, so I'll, I'll put a link in the description. And it had the ADF files you can use in an emulator or make your own uh, discs off. It's pretty funny someone would put that in there uh, when selling this game. Must have been uh, the guy that sold this collection or something, I don't know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. To get a real feel for Wings, you really gotta play it yourself. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Please like if you, uh, if you did. Subscribe to my channel so I know to make more episodes. And hope to see you guys in episode 3. Cheers!